G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $2 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we have my $2 collection book here, already filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. And we have quite a few coins. We're missing only, what is it, four of the coins on the page. And these are the Royal Australian Mint commemorative coins issued since 2012 with the Red Poppy. The Red Poppy's not in there, but we do have one that was gifted uh, to the channel uh, by a viewer. And that's going to make the Red Poppy for this particular book. And I'm really pleased about that. Very grateful to my viewers for helping out. Uh, the last book, I had to start up a red poppy fund and uh, save up the money to to buy one because they are so so very hard to find in circulation if i ever find one in circulation it will be a red letter or red poppy day for sure but otherwise we've got a few of the really hard other ones to find in circulation so we'll have to continue to hunt until we can get those We're obviously finding lots of other color in circulation but Trying to find those low minted ones is quite difficult, so we'll keep hunting until we do uh, finally find those. That is the Aboriginal Elder, that is the standard $2 coin design, uh, and that's been out since 1988 when the $2 coin was first issued. And we'll be looking through all of those front and back, obverse and reverse, to find coins of low mintage and to look out for any errors. So we're into the first roll already, going through the Aboriginal Elders, looking at them on both sides, looking out for errors or things of note, looking for low mintage coins. 2011 is a low mintage coin. We'll be, we'll be looking out for, for one of those. We'll be looking out on the rims of the coins for any rim cuds, which is the most prevalent kind of error that you get in the $2 coin denomination. And obviously hoping to find commemorative colored coins, as well as the three commemorative non-colored coin. And there is our first roll. You'll notice that I have armor guard rolls I was quite surprised to get armor guard rolls today because I went to the Westpac ATM coin machine to get rolls and I usually get Prosiga rolls out of that machine and today all of them were armor guard which could explain why it's been very very difficult to get coins lately they were still didn't have any 50 cent pieces or one dollar coins available at the coin machine haven't been able to get any out of the coin machine at Westpac for nearly two weeks now and I have had to go elsewhere. Uh, and there was our first common, or first commemorative, and this is one of the non-coloured commemoratives. This is the 50th anniversary of decimal currency, the changeover coin. There it has the effigy of the queen shrunken down, and underneath it we have a depiction of the pre-decimal equivalent, the crown. There's the Aboriginal elder, the standard reverse, but it is a commemorative, and it's... Lower minted than most of the individual uh, Aboriginal elders, so we keep it as a commemorative, but it's not a lowly minted coin as such. It's always great to find some people in some parts of Australia find that coin very difficult to find. And here we have another low minted coin, we have a 2011 Aboriginal elder. Very nice to find those. That's the lowest minted of the Aboriginal elders at 1.8 million. Still pulled them out of circulation. Looking, obviously, for the best example of those to keep in the set and in the wider collection. But always handy to grab out those low minted coins, especially the lowest of the standard design. Because people who do make sense find them very hard to come by. You can <clears throat> make a set of the Aboriginal Elders relatively easily with most of the coins having over sort of four million. You usually come across those coins pretty much, <clears throat> excuse me, every hunt. But 
the 2011 can be particularly hard to find if they didn't circulate through your area. It was a nice mm, 2015, which would have been great had it been a Anzac Cove, which is one of the ones we're looking for. And the other coin that we look out for in the date range is the 1991 Aboriginal Elder. The 1991 Aboriginal Elder was only uh, introduced into mint sets, whether they be proof or uncirculated sets. They weren't issued out into circulation. So if you come across one of those, that can be a very valuable coin to find. And certainly if you are making a set, that will be a great addition to any full set that you might want to make. So we're a few rolls in now. I don't have any coin news, unfortunately. We're still uh, waiting on some coin news, but we're getting deep into December now, and I don't think there'll be any uh, legislations coming through now until well into the new year, possibly to February. So we'll see what goes on with the government website, but nothing will happen for some time. The only other thing I would say is it's probably happened now. It's, it's a couple of days away, but the uh, $2 uh, 35th anniversary set would have been released. <laughs> I'd like to say I got a uh, set of those, but I don't know yet. I'm still obviously at this point still waiting for them to come out. Here we have the uh, one of the other non-colour commemoratives. It's the Remembrance Gold Poppy from 2012. It's a little bit dirty on the back there. And this is relatively high minted. It's over oh, 5 mil. Yeah, 5.8 mil. So there's a lot of these around. They do get taken out of circulation quite a bit. This is that reverse side there is not a bad nick that's a bit dirty on that side though but so we have two of the three non-colored commemoratives which is uh not necessarily unusual what would be unusual is if we found it in victus games in today's roles and got all three that would be that would be spectacular actually because i don't think i've ever done that before and we've got really tight rolls too so very hard to open these rolls doesn't help that i trimmed my nails a couple of days ago and very short but no coin news uh, hopefully I've got the uh, 35th anniversary $2 coin set uh, I won't be too oh well I'll be a little bit disappointed if I can get one but knowing the absolute hype that is surrounding $2 coins at the moment I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't get one Having said that, I haven't hyped it up myself. I wasn't keen to actually go out there and spend a lot of time talking about it. Um, I know that there are other channels that have talked about it quite a bit. There's another 2012, but just an Aboriginal elder. But we'll see how it goes. If you have seeing this video, then you can probably check out any other uh, RAM product updates that I might have done relatively recently is it that's another 2011 that's not too bad two 2011s low minted coin that's uh, quite unusual and that one's in reasonable nick as well let's take the roll from the other end see how we go mix up the last roll of luck see where that lands us it'd be nice to get actually something today So yeah, no new coins uh, other than the sets that have come in through the Royal Australian Mint. What's this going to be? 2018, uh, just an Aboriginal elder. So I ho hopefully uh, there is something online with that set, whether it's from myself or another collector who has been able to access the set. sure it'll be a very nice addition to anyone's collection it's a little bit expensive in my opinion just on the release price but I think that's par for the course in the way that the two dollar coin
Bitcoin collecting community has been going. If you have a look at the 2018 30th anniversary set, they're selling for can be a thousand dollars, and they were only seventy dollars. And apparently, according to the Purple Penny, they weren't that big of a seller when they first came out. So you can tell five years of coin collecting a very different landscape than it was five years ago now with the popularity of the two dollar coin so I, 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 I was talking about the armor guard rolls coming out at Westpac out of their ATMs I saw comments on my other there's something a bit further on I saw a comment from a viewer about the Prosiga or the purple rolls, purple coloured rolls up in Queensland. Here we have Dorothy the Dinosaur, yellow ring, the 30th anniversary of the Wiggles from 2021. A commemorative coin based on uh, the children's program, the Wiggles. Relatively low minted, but um, there was a lot of them around, still a lot of them around. Good to get any colour in a hunt, so I'm appreciative that that's come out. But I do have a fair amount of those. And so we'll see how it goes with the rolls and the packaging of the rolls. Maybe there's a bit of a change. Oh, here we have another uh, commemorative. This is a 2020 $2. I'm thinking this would probably be a Olympics, yes, there we go, 2020 Olympic team, Australian Olympic team, with the depiction of Mount Fuji with the sun or moon rising or setting over the back. It's the Red Ring of Courage from the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo that was held in 2021. These coins were minted in 2020, but held off until 2021, until the Olympics took place. So even though they are dated 2020, they didn't actually turn up until 2021, which is very, very unusual. And also that particular coin is the only coin that has any indication of where the Olympics took place. Even the 2016 uh, Rio Olympics coins do not have any indication of where that Olympics took place. Oh my God, look at this. Invictus Games. Did I not talk that up or what? That is an outstanding. I haven't had... I've had, this is the third uh, um, Invictus Games I've had in a little while, and it's amazing that I've got all three now non coloured commemoratives, which I, you know, I have to believe that's a, a first for me. Um, the Invictus Games, the Changeover Coin, and the Gold Poppy, that's outstanding. And I thought this was uh, just an ordinary hunt, but no way that is made it special for me. That's fantastic. Oh, that's a 2013. That would have been nice. Anyway, so yeah, hard to uh, hard to pick the location of the event. It's the same with the uh, apart from the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games, the 2022 Birmingham Games. Even though the Commonwealth team is on those coins, the A, U, and S. There's no indication on the coins themselves where the location of the Commonwealth Games was, unlike the Gold Coast 2018 coins, which has the word Gold Coast on them, which is pretty, pretty special to have a place name on those coins. Oh, and there we go, dropped another one. And so we continue looking, oh, there's a couple of 2013s in this roll, but not the coronation. There's a 2019 Jody Clark. There's a low minted coin. Uh, I always get this one wrong. So make sure I say it right. Yeah, it's uh, 2 million. Same as some of the other colored coins. It's low mintage. It's uh, 200,000 more than the 2011 but it, it is the changeover effigy in 2019 we had both the jody clark oh wow look at that doubling up another changeover coin wow that's two and two and two 
So yeah, at two two effigies in the one year in the 2019, we had the IRB effigy, which had been the standard effigy for 10 years. That effigy there, 2019, but there was about 10 million of those. And then the Jody Clark effigy made its way into circulation in the same year, but there was only 2 million of those. So lower minted and the first time a new effigy had been issued. The Jody Clark effigy only lasted for really four years from 2019 to 2023, including the memorial effigy, which we'll only see in this 2023 circuit well, really um, uncirculated coins even though they hit circulation non-ram issued coins and so we're on the, the last roll if I can get it open and and really we, we would like some last roll luck something very special although we've got some quite nice coins out there on the table at the moment something very colorfully special would be a fantastic uh, if you're listening but we'll see the 15 that could be the one that we're looking for no Aboriginal elder haven't seen one of those uh, Anzac Cove landings for a very very long time and so oh, what's this oh no something caught my eye it made me look twice We're nearly there through the coins today. A very shiny one there. It's a 2022. That won't be anything. Didn't have anything in 2022 like that. And so there we have it. The rolls are done. No last roll luck. But we do have two of the changeover coins. One of the three non-coloured commemoratives that we have in Australia. We have... The Invictus Games coin, with the Invictus Games was held in Sydney, which is why it says Sydney on there in 2018. It's a very nice coin, another non-coloured commemorative. And then we have the $2 Remembrance Gold Poppy from 2012, the very first commemorative coin in the $2 denomination. Three non-coloured commemorative coins, all issued by the Royal Australian Mint. Then we've got some corporate product. We have the 2020 Australian Olympic team, Red Ring of Courage for the Tokyo Olympics, $2 there on the obverse, and the 2021 30th anniversary of the Wiggles with Dorothy the Dinosaur and the Yellow Ring there. No denomination on the obverse on that one. And then we picked up some some low minted coins, 2019's Jody Clark, the first time Jody Clark had been issued on a $2 coin, and then uh, some t low minted 2011 coins. Not in bad, Nick. One better than the other, which is usually the way. And so that is it for the hunt today. Not Nothing particularly special. I, I do rate this, though. The fact that we got those all three of those commemorative non-coloured coins, very rate-worthy. But if you enjoy what I do, please think about subscribing. Uh, please like the video and leave a comment about the sort of things that you're finding in your area. Are you finding colour? Are you finding commemoratives? I'd love to hear what you're finding and where you are in Australia. Uh, it's very interesting to me and it gives me an idea of what coins are turning up in what states. But as always, I'll be back for more noodling in a couple of days. So I'll see you then. Bye.